Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all here today. So look at this. We are taking a look at today's community ship. It is the Bellicose Aero Cruiser. It is an airship, and it just packs a mighty punch, a really mighty punch. This is, uh, let's take a look at the block count really quick. This is a fairly large ship. This is a 9,685 block ship. I dipped into the large queue like I had been talking about and just fished around for something fun we could bring in. Now we have a lot of ships that are are just so much bigger than this. You know, I was looking at some that were 15,000, 20,000, 40,000, 50,000 blocks, but I thought we would start with some of the smaller, large ships and work our way up from there as well. Now don't forget, we are still bringing in ships from the, the medium queue. You know, we're still gonna be doing that. But uh, I wanted to just throw in a smattering of larger ships here and there, try to bolster our forces a bit. Now I don't have any information about this ship, so we're just going to kind of take a look around it to discern the weapon systems. It essentially features this, cannons and lasers. Uh, I, from what I can tell, there are no missiles or anything like that. However, it does have a just a huge amount of lambs. Lots of lambs. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go, right here. Uh, hang on, I'm going to need the interface on for this. See if I can get in here. We're going to have to really slow it down. Try to take a look at these without going into build mode. There we go. Okay, so we do have sticky flares. So it does have some sticky flares, but it, you, it just has a lot of lambs. A whole plethora of lambs going on. And these cannons are fairly powerful. Let's see if we can take a look at one of them at least. Maybe we can get onto one of the cannon turrets here. There we go. All right, let's take a look. What do we got? So here's the damage on one of these. A reload time of one second. So one shot a second for each one of these cannons, at least on the bottom. There are six. 975 kinetic damage, 311 explosive damage, and 8.2 AP. Pretty high recoil, uh, pretty low inaccuracy, low ammo use, really not that bad. I don't think recoil is going to be a problem. I, I did test this out in the vehicle designer, and it, it honestly had no problems at all. I had it face up against a Radiance and a Devastator, and this ship was able to come out ahead. It, it would take a little bit of damage. Um, I, it also has invisible shielding, I'm pretty sure. Although, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'm not really seeing many shields going on here. Okay, let's also take a look at these side cannons just really quick. Uh, am I on? Yes. I am on the side cannon. Let's take a look, see if they're any different. So, the same. One second reload time. 513 kinetic damage. No explosive on these, but 8.7 AP. A little bit lower recoil. Much higher in accuracy, but much lower ammo use. So, it's got just a, a pretty good smattering. Of, uh, of cannon systems going on here. And we'll take a look at these top ones as well. Just see what's going on here. Okay, shrink the blocks. And let's look. So again, one second reload for these top cannons. 956 kinetic, 239 explosive, 6.4 AP. And really low in accuracy. And not bad recoil either. All in all, it's pretty phenomenal. Here we go. We can, we can spawn in a... Uh, something. Let, let's just bring in an Animus. Why not? Good old Animus. And let's see what's going to happen here. We're just, we're just so you can see what it looks like, you know, without a lot of the crazy battle stuff going on all the time. So there you can see the lasers firing. The cannons are firing, and there's the Animus. I don't think he's going to be doing so well. Oops, didn't mean to zoom out there. Yeah, he's just getting laced. I don't even know if the Animus has smoke. He, I believe the Animus is a member of the Tsunami Genesis. Is that who I spawned from? Oh, Vehement Seekers. Vehement Seekers. Yeah, you can see those big shells landing. Woo! It's a, it's, it's just great. I mean, it's not like 100% crazy effective. Oh, there is shielding. Okay, you can see all the invis invisible shielding going on over here. Okay, so yeah, lambs and shielding, uh, missile defenses, it's got cannons, it's got lasers, and it's an airship. I say we give this baby a go. So let's go ahead and hop back into the campaign. And we are here. So what I did was I took the Bellicose Aero Cruiser and I popped it into our fleet with the HMS Lightnings and the TBF Commandos. The thought here is the HMS Lightnings are more of a support ship. And uh, the Bellicose Aero Cruiser, I don't, I don't really think it's a support ship. It's definitely more of like an assault type ship. And the TBF Commandos will give us some pretty good fighter support, some decent air superiority. I hope that's the thought. And the other thing I did here was I spawned just a, a C skip and suckler, so we can come over here to this resource zone and get that underway. Let's, uh, let's let this guy go ahead and get over here. Let's see, do I have him going to the right spot? I do, I do. It's so critical. You always want to be going for the right spot. It's all about that G-spot, baby. You know, in the resource zone, it's where it's where the action's at. Okay, there we go. We're suckling. So, we're going to take this fleet, just this fleet, and we're going to head out. We're going to try to battle this 97 strength square of ionic revolutionary goodness. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Force count four. 
We have ourselves a Devastator. Okay, a Raze. A little tiny Shadow. And a Ravager. Oh, the Ravager. He, he ravages deep. You gotta be so careful with those guys. Just Ravage. What a hardcore word. Okay, so we're gonna get our HMS Lightning. These are gonna be in the back. Chilling like villains. Now, last time we played with these, uh, I had turned off the ship's you know, uh, navigation system. So we're going to be turning those back on for sure here so we can uh, get those babies going. I don't even think we need them that close, to be honest. There we go. They are, they're mainly laser ships, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to get the TBF commandos. I wonder what TBF stands for. Taco Bueno Fun. Hmm, totally bad face commando. T typical brundly... Uh, I keep wanting to say a bad word there, so I'm just going to refrain. And let's get our bellicose aero cruiser just right. You know what? He's he's going to start off with the broadside like this, like right here, I think. And we're going to be hopping into the aero cruiser. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up. Let's see how many. Hang on, we're going to turn this down to thirty thousand blocks. I think is what we're going to play at. So let's see what we get. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to get the aero cruiser, the commandos, and one lightning. So let's go ahead and get down there. No weapon systems to get off. Why is our aero cruiser sinking? Please pull up. Oh, and uh, let's get our lightnings really quick. Let's go ahead and turn these babies on to combat mode so they can, you know, get their, their hydrofoil usage working. Or just the one that's spawned in right now. Okay, so let's see how things are, are panning out here. What did we have spawned in from the enemy side? Definitely had that Devastator. You can see blocks falling out of the sky there. I'm seeing some small little ships. Woo, look at this baby. We have taken some damage already. It's it's really not bad, though. Minimal damage. Let's go take a look on the enemy side, how things are going here. Oh, no, I don't think we've had the Devastator spawn in yet. Absolutely not. There's a Ravager. And this is the Rays, I believe. Yep. That's a 3,300-block ship. Woo, look at that. Look at that profile. Isn't that beautiful? What a gorgeous profile. I love it. I just love airship. It's like a it's like a soft spot in my heart for airships and battleships. And that's why I we we have a couple of airships in the queue that are going to blow your mind. One of them is like 20,000 blocks and it's like a it's some sort of mammoth air carrier has like 10 or 15 sub vehicles with it. Oh man, it's intense. I almost brought that in today, but I wanted to save it so I could give it a, a good, you know, proper intro. So the enemy, what now what are all these? What what are where'd all these come from? Hang on. Gotta catch up with it. You know what? We'll just use the old Q menu here. Oh, those are our TBF commandos. Ah <laughs> oh, my goodness. Many apologies. I thought that was an enemy ship just because of the colors. They seriously look like Ionic Revolution ships. So here are some of those huge shells coming from the Bellicose Aero Cruiser. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, by the way, the fleet name. The fleet name. Where'd, where'd my fleets go? That's weird. Normally there's like a fleet tab. It's gone. Okay, anyways, maybe that's just vehicle designer only. You can see that. Uh, the fleet is called Aeroloft Incorporated. Look at this. Oh, man, I love it. It's just got the look. You know, I've noticed, though, a lot of people who build airships, they all use the very, the very same back design. I wonder if they are taking components from something like the Moray. You know, I, I feel like the Moray is the first airship that had incorporated this sort of back this back uh, propulsion part for the spin blocks the way it kind of converges into like a, a small point there go some of the, the tbf commandos looking great the raise is down for the count so that means we are going to have the devastator spawn in next this will be the biggest ship we are fighting in this battle here it is oh she's looking beautiful there are the lasers from the lightnings you can see those disco lights i love them they're so disco-y. Oh, and they, you know, they do have uh, missiles. Let's not forget that. Hang on, did I turn on their... I turned on their movement systems, or one of them. The other one spawned in. Let's see, are they moving? I think this guy might be. Yeah, he's moving, and he's going to start to move. There we go. Okay. The concern there was, you know, we just want to raise them out of the water. You know, they have laser systems, and yeah, when those lasers dip under the water, you know, they, they have uh, degraded damage. Much degraded damage. All right, how you doing, Bellicose? Oh, those just beautiful, normal custom cannons. You know, not, not advanced uh, custom cannons or anything like that. Volley of missiles coming out of the... Interesting. Where were those going? Coming out of the Devastator? But what were they doing? 
What's interesting? Yeah, I really don't know. Just kind of firing them back there. You know, doing their own thing. Come on, Commando. What do you got for us? What do you got, B? Some missiles. What we could really use are some missiles. Just wouldn't that be incredible? Just drop right over the Devastator. They would just land down here. Just give it such a bad day. I'd love, I'd love it if we could get... You know what would be cool is to have, like, theoretical crew sizes in these ships. That would be fun. So you could see, like, oh, the, you know, the Devastator has a crew of uh, 40 or something like that. It just, it's all about the immersion factor. You know, because right now, or maybe they're just fully autonomous. Maybe, I, I always keep coming back to that. Like, these, these babies, they need to be, you know, they, ha they need to have crew. But they, uh, you just keep forgetting. You wire the AI, they're, they're fully autonomous. I don't know, I just think having crew in this game would be so cool. You know, I mean, we have NPCs, so maybe we'll see that fleshed out a bit. Maybe, maybe it'll come to fruition to some degree. So the Bellicose Aero Cruiser is... It's it's fairly accurate. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of shots are just over overblowing the Devastator here. However, the Devastator is down by about 1,100 blocks. Here comes some shots from the Lightnings. Ooh, look at this. These must have been from the... the actually... The TBF Commandos, maybe. They're the only thing that would be coming over here from such an angle. And look at that. The Devastator's down below 80% and sinking. That is what I am talking about. I really like this ship. I really dig it. Now, unfortunately, I've noticed a lot of people do this. They will build a cockpit area for, you know, your, your little uh, Grundlebot. But everybody builds it just one block too short. So you're always stuck in the seat. You really can't do anything. You can open the door, but, like, you can't get out there. So, I just, I just thought I'd throw that out there. I, I, I can't tell you. I, I have a feeling more ships than not will build the cockpit area just uh, one block too short. I mean, look at my guy's head. <laughs> it's up in the blocks. Oh, that would have killed a normal human. But we're talking Grundlebot here. Freaking impervious to wood blocks in the brain skull area. The old face hole. All right, look at that. Success. Mission success. Let's zoom out and take a... Look at that. We we really didn't do bad. One of our lightnings got down to 96%. But that's no biggie, because we can heal up real quick. We still have uh, 2.1 million metal. So we're doing all right on that front. We are doing A-OK. -okay. All right, let's take a look here. What do we want to do? Let's, uh, let's... Hmm, let's go for one more battle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head over here and get things set up, and I'll catch you all in just a bit. So here is what we are looking at. I've got everything set up for us here. I went ahead and I split off our artillery rays and I brought them over as well. I thought that would be fun to see those again. And also, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, I noticed it, the, the artillery ray, if, if, you, if you watched the last episode, the main, the large rail guns on the artillery ray, ray were not shooting very often. And that's because of the reload time. They are the new advanced custom cannons and they only have... Uh, well, they, they, their reload time is about 1 minute, 60 seconds. However, when they fire, what the author let me know is they fire around 60 shots in the small frame of time that they are active before they have to wait for reloads. So that's what's going on there. I just wanted to say thank you, you guys. You know, you're all so patient with me sometimes. It's, it's just the best. Thank you so much for not just dragging me all over the coals when I, uh, you know, don't necessarily know what's going on sometimes. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, here's what we're looking at. So I brought those artillery rays in. We have those down here. I'm making sure to spawn them at an altitude of 26 and 29. Uh, they will fall down to about an altitude of 10, but this way I'm not spawning them so high up that they won't be able to shoot due to angle. We've got our TBF commandos on the outside like usual. Our HMS lightnings at the back in the middle and our bellicose will be starting a broadside about 230 meters up right in front of the main bulk of our fleets. And we are going up against a Devastator, a Raze, and an Infiltrator. Now, now, let's just make sure we don't have any happy little accidents over here, as it's good old Bob Ross would say. Although he would be painting a tree when, when doing said thing, you know? Uh, what I'd like to do is get... I just want to make sure we get a little smattering of ships here. So, for sure we want an Artillery Ray, a bellico the Bellicose, and an HMS Lightning. And then... We'll go for another artillery ray, and then we'll start bringing in the TBF commandos, etc., etc. Okay, and we're going to be sitting in the bellicose, like usual. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Looks like we're going to get down to one of the... Oh, okay, okay, just the top three ships. Wow, all right, let's get down there. Battle has begun! So, yeah, you can see these... These raytilleries, those railguns are just going crazy. And look at that. I don't know if that's the recoil from the railguns, but it is blowing the artillery backwards. 
And this ship over here, holy smithereens, AI is already dead. AI is completely dead in this infiltrator. I bet you that was the railguns from the Raytillery. That would be my first thought. Because those railguns, well, they can fire so fast, up to like 3,000, you know, uh, meters a second or, or whatever the measurement is for, for weapon systems, the new advanced custom cannons. That's insane. I mean, nothing has fired that fast before previously. All right, here we go. We got the, is this the Devastator? Yes. Starts with a D. Oh no, giving it the old D. That's what she said. Oh, that's my one. That's my one for the episode. All right, so Bellicose. We, I, it's great that we start that it's the broadside. Definitely want that broadside going on. Let that thing just unleash with all those cannons. We got the disco lights from the HMS Lightning coming over here. And we're really just waiting for the reload right now for the, the artillery ray. It, oh, we did take some damage. Look at that, down to 90%. But the HMS Lightning, look at that, healing it up. All right, I'm glad I put those uh, compact repair tentacles on the HMS Lightning. You know what? A lot of shells are coming from the Devastator. Let's see if these are going to connect. They're heading over here. A lot of birds over here chilling with us. I believe the birds will be anywhere that your avatar is. Because birds, you know birds love avatars. All right, everything's looking good here. I was just scanning the horizon. This is really kind of a small fleet from the Ionic Revolution that we are dealing with right now. I really want to see the Raytillery kick it up again. I want to see these babies fire. Oh man, I want to see it so bad. But this time I want to get like on the, on the, on the ship side, the receiving end. I want to see these uh, massively fast bullets hit. If it's six, I, I just can't tell. You know, and we're in degraded mode right now, so if a ship says it has a 60 second reload time, that honestly could end up being one and a half to two minutes for the reload time. You know, based on the game speed. It's uh, because as your FPS goes down, the game scales the speed down. Uh, it's just one of the things it does to try and keep your FPS consistent. It's an interesting mechanism, and that's why sometimes you can look around and you can see the waves. Sometimes the waves will be going really slow, and that'll let you know that you are in a, a very degraded game time. All right, let's take a look at our health. Ooh, the artillery ray's getting hurt, so I'm gonna set my character in the artillery ray. We are definitely taking the Devastator out. So now here's one thing I would like to mention. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be capturing many more of the Ionic Revolution ships. I believe the only one I'm gonna actually try to capture uh, for the remainder of this faction is the boss. And that's because the, the internals of the Ionic Revolution, it's all pitch black. It's just so dark, it's so dark for me. Although this isn't that bad right here. It seems a little bit brighter. But yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the paint is just, it's just all black. That beautiful glossy black. So hard for me to see over here. It's, it's weird. I can't even see the seams between the blocks. Uh, it's just nuts. It's, it's zany. You know what, I mean, I have my monitors, brightness and contrast set up great. You know, it's really good. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's just super hard in this game for some reason. But yeah, you know, once I go to the render, I'll brighten that stuff up. So at least for you guys, you know, you can, you can kind of see what's going on, but it really makes me look kind of stupid, though, because I'm, I'll be derping around, and you guys will think I can see just fine. Ah, <sighs> ah, technology. Isn't it just a wonderful thing? All right, so it appears that we have the Devastator now down for the count, I think. it. Maybe we have a submarine that spawned in. What do we still have down here? Oh, don't do this again. Oh, no. The Devastator... Now you, this happened a few episodes ago, where the Devastator started sinking... I mean, it, this is now 140 meters below the surface. Oh, there we go. Whoo! I was really worried. I was really, really worried there. Because it could have been really hard to reach this ship. I know the Raytillery has torpedoes, though. In fact, why am I not seeing those? I mean, the artillery ray. I keep calling it the Raytillery. <laughs> uh, look at all these shells just floating down here. Look at this. I love it. Will any connect? Yeah, some of these are connecting. You know, it's actually pretty funny when they're they're just drifting and they bounce off the shield because they, they follow the contour of the shield. Let's see if we can watch it. Or at least one of them did just a minute ago. Huh, okay. Well, maybe not so much. Well, I mean, it's disintegrating, so what are we talking about? See ya, Devastator. I really like the look of the Devastator. This is one of the uh, Ionic Revolution ships that I really dig. 
the look of this one it's very cool i'll tell you what though i am so excited to see the boss of the ionic revolution just because you know all the boss ships have been made so much beefier and larger i mean they're just these massive capital class ships oh oh do we have someone spawn in we did okay where's the artillery so i i, I mean the uh, artillery ray my gosh i still haven't seen it shoot it's rail guns yet so it may have a uh, 60 second reload time but we must be in such a degraded mode here that you know that one minute must be like five minutes or something i i don't know i certainly haven't seen it shoot i mean it, it's not even shooting the top cannons oh there they are yeah 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 it is yeah very hard to see in degraded mode normally they'll have like a green or an orange contrail here you go yeah you can see it shooting okay we're good we're good wait a sec Oh, so if you hear the clicking, by the way, people let me know those are shells being reloaded into the weapon. Which is totally cool. I heard some torpedoes. There they are. Look at that. There they are, and who are they going for? Hello, lightning! Oh, Wait, what are you doing? Why are you not on right now, sir? Sir. Oh, its mainframe is gone. Okay, we're gonna get our dude in the lightning. So it looks like, for whatever reason, the lightning is down to 92%. But enough damage was done to take out one of the mainframes for the lightning, the combat mainframe. And with that mainframe out, the lightning is unable to move. Thankfully though, it is able to still use these, these missile systems, which is sweet. Thank you, lightning! And the AI is dead on this guy. Look at that. It is a completely intact ship. It's only missing 600 blocks. Well, I mean it was. <laughs> only missing 600 blocks. Now it's missing all sorts of blocks. Hello, neighbor! It's been real! Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you again. Do -do 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 -do. Well, we didn't get to see the artillery array shoot these main cannons again. But hey, that initial shot, that initial shot from the artillery ray totally took out that infiltrator. I am totally confident of it, that it was the artillery ray that, that cored that infiltrator so quick. It was so cool. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop this episode here. This was a good one. I hope you enjoyed the, the Bellicose Aero Cruiser. It is a really cool-looking air, airship. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, between now and the next episode, I'm going to clear off these squares. We may save this 160 for ourselves. And I'm going to build another antenna array so we can uncover and see where uh, the main Ionic Revolution Fortress is. And, uh, and then I think... What we're going to do is probably dip into the medium queue for the next episode or two. Probably bring in two to three ships an episode, and then we'll dip back into the large queue. And let me tell you, we're going to be... I think we're going to bring in the Mammoth Air Carrier for the next large ship. It's just such a cool, huge ship. I really want to show it to you guys. It's so awesome. It's going to blow your minds. So anyways, ladies and gents, if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave those. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, definitely give it a like. I love that. So anyways, look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until then, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.